Oui, mon bébé. Zoom. Et tout, tout. Tout. <rire> I wanted to talk to you guys about adjusting to motherhood, being a new mom. Yes, this is my baby. Say hello. Say hello. Say hi. Don't want to say hi. This is my son. Well, as you can see, my husband is not in the video because he's at work at the moment. So as a new mom adjusting to motherhood my son is nine months old he just turned nine months um this week no baby no 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 he's fascinated by my earrings <laughs> so it is not easy adjusting to being a mom living in a different country from your origin. Um, by the way, I am Jamaican and my husband is French, so we live in France. Um, so much has changed see a lot more responsibilities um the first few months of having baby home my husband and i don't get to spend as much time together as one-on-one -on -one time that is together um because our son needed a lot of attention extra attention that is because he needed a lot of attention because he was born with hypoglycemy and he was also born with acid reflux hypoglycemy is when the baby is born with a low sugar rate he needed a specific medicine to get his sugar on the level that it's supposed to be he had to get that special medicine and he also was born with acid reflux meaning that he used to vomit a lot when he feeds and I would also always have to make sure that he burps even like two or three times before I put him down to sleep after feed. When he doesn't digest the, the milk properly, he would have stomach cramps or stomach pain if you wish then and he would cry non-stop crying oh lord i hope i don't get emotional um remembering all this makes me get very teary-eyed um he would he would just cry and there's nothing you could do to help him through this pain at the time and um not having my family here very hard um the good thing is that my husband is a kind of person who he's very very supportive and he's always there i didn't need to damn oh i'm a mess <laughs> i didn't need to remind him more to tell him that I need help or when Tyler would cry he he would make sure that he tried to comfort him and sometimes I get so frustrated I couldn't calm him down my husband was the best person to, to
to calm him down. Um, but thank God, all that is gone now. He's, he took the medicine for the hypoglycemia for six months, and then um, he would go back to the hospital for a 24 hour check to see if he can manage on his own without the medicine and thank god he came off the medicine after six months and the acid reflux is also gone um when he was born at the hospital he wasn't eating he was he was three weeks after he was born so we were in the hospital for quite some time and when we were sent home it wasn't easy at the hospital seeing him on all that mach all those machines was the hardest thing for me and my comfort during that time was my husband and my family from afar my mom my sister my aunties and all my friends who prayed and at this time if I didn't believe in God any other time I sure did believe in him at this time that's where I found my comfort I would stay in my hospital room and I would cry every day I would cry um, but my husband was there my mom actually was in France for the birth of for the birth of our son, but she he came late. I was actually induced, but that's another story. If you guys want to know about our birth story, comment down below on this video and let us know if you guys want to hear our birth story. We can do a video on that also. Um, my mom was in France for the birth of her son, but she had to leave just after he was born, like a day or two after he was born, she had to leave because her time was up. She was here for two weeks and because he came late, she had to leave. So it wasn't easy not having my family around. My, my husband family came to visit, but visit and they leave because of course everybody worked and all that so i totally understand adjusting for the first few months having tyler home was the most challenging thing i've ever done in my entire life i must say uh, being away from my family made me also realize how much i miss them i miss them very much and thinking back tracking back a bit to when i was pregnant as you guys can see this picture up here when i was pregnant and having cravings for food from jamaica it was the hardest thing i had to endure during my pregnancy getting jamaican food in france was the hardest so I had to compromise and I had to figure out how to manage during my pregnancy without most of what I was craving at the time. But Tyler is, he is a handful now. He is a burst of energy. He's a happy little boy. He's always smiling. You want to go? He's always smiling. He's full of personality just like mommy and have so much features of daddy. He's a perfect mix of both of us. No baby. No baby. But um having Tyler has taught me to be more patient that I didn't have. So Tyler has taught me a whole lot about being a mom. He is a kind of child who is on a schedule, you know. He have his perfect bedtime routine. He have his meal routine. I'll also do a video on that about his, 
his daily routine. Oh, if you guys wonder what I'm drinking, I am having a green smoothie. I'm trying to get my body back before I had baby. So, I am on a diet. No. Dieting and working out. So, if you guys also would like to know what I... What I'm having in my meal plan and my workout. I also work out from home. I do everything from home. I do not go to the gym. So if you guys would also like to see um, my workout regime and my meal regime, my meal plan. Um, also comment below and let me know. I can also do a video on my workout routine and um my meal like i said adjusting has taught me has taught me a whole lot it has taught me a whole lot i never imagined that i would be a mom <laughs> one day i always wanted to but um god has been so good and uh, when we took tyler home from the hospital <laughs> My mom was already gone and it was a total chaos at home even though I had already sterilized all the bottles and everything before I left for the hospital it was total chaos my husband and I was like dogs running around in the house with Tyler and um, Tyler is, uh, thank God he was a baby who only woke for his bottle and went right back to sleep. It wasn't hard for us. And I must say that since Tyler was born and came home, my husband woke up every single night to make Tyler bottle. The only time my husband doesn't wake to make Tyler bottle is now that Tyler is sleeping through the night. But hats off to him. He's a wonderful husband. He's a wonderful father. He makes sure that he does his duty. He does his diaper change. He does his bad time. He, he does Tyler bottles. He makes sure he does his playtime with Tyler. I didn't have to get up all I had to do was to wake him up when Tyler wake up as a matter of fact Tyler would cry when he wake up so I didn't have to wake him up because Tyler Kyle would wake him up and he would go straight to make Tyler bottle I remember one night Tyler he was so tired and I decided that okay I am not going to wake him up I'm going to make Tyler bottle myself Oh my gosh, the morning when he woke up, he was so mad at me, saying, why didn't you wake me? Why you went and make Tyler bottle all by yourself? And ever since that, I made sure that I wake him up to make Tyler bottle, else he would be so mad at me not to wake him up. I enjoy being a mom to her son. I love every minute of it. Boy, his little giggles around the house. I enjoy seeing how fascinated he is by every single thing. I enjoy being a mom to him. Crazy. He's the sweetest little thing. Alright, so if you guys would like to see more of our videos, don't forget to click the subscribe button thumbs up our video and tell all your friends to subscribe and like we'll see you in the next video come and say bye papa tyler come come to mama come on and he tyler is so he's such a smart little boy when i say no 
I'll, I'll have to repeat it a few times sometimes but when I say no he knows to stop when I said stop oh mwah. when I say stop he stop he's he's this <laughs> hey he's the sweetest little boy in this entire world he gives me so much joy say bye bye say bye bye say bye bye say au revoir say, say bye bye everybody bye guys see you in our next video